Hey guys, I'm here with Jen Olivar, and she actually manages Jenna Marbles. If you're familiar with Jenna, she's quite large on YouTube at the moment, and uh, Jen actually manages Jenna's activity, and I wanted to get uh, a little bit of info about that, but how long have you been working with Jenna? I've been working with Jenna for almost a year and a half now, so it's been a fun ride so far, and it's just, we, I'm still in shock with how many fans she has. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of her, so I totally get it, but it's just awesome to always like be in a place like this where we see so many of her fans and can put faces to the numbers. Yeah. So, what was it that occurred to you when you are watching YouTube? or however you discovered Jenna like what what, what was that process yeah. and first of all I, I I usually don't use the word discover just because I think with any youtuber that sort of already putting themselves out there and you know sort of establishing themselves and self-marketing they kind of already have done the first big step of putting themselves out there so I never say that I've discovered her or any other youtuber um, I just like to say I really took notice to what she was doing and I noticed she had a few viral videos and this is back in I think February of 2011 mm -hmm. and I was like whoa this girl has a few really cool videos but you know it, sometimes you look at the the subscriber base and like it doesn't really reflect what you see in sort of some right. of the video views so I'm, I contacted her and I was like I'm a huge fan of what you're doing I'd love to work with you um, maybe that we can build a bigger base for you um, and just worked with her on a few strategies and she totally took off and I Again, super talented girl from the very beginning. I was like, this girl's going to be so famous. I just hope that I can be a part of it somehow. That is a fabulous story. Like, no, you could not have told that any better. That's like, I think that's what anybody really hopes for, especially in the YouTube community where they're all here and they're trying to figure out what they can do to just grassroots do their own thing and be their own person and be successful. So I do social media marketing. A lot of people on YouTube know that I do that. So I'm genuinely interested in like what the strategy is there, where you where you know the audiences are that you have to make sure that you're not pushing the videos but making them available in those areas. What's kind of your strategy there with the social media? Uh, presence well I think first and foremost stay true to yourself I think sometimes people are like hey you should post twice a day you should tweet three times a day you should Facebook five times a day if it feels unnatural to you you should never force it I think I look at social media as just as much a creative art process as anything else and it should feel organic and it should feel real obviously you always just want to try to find a real way to always engage with your audience whether it's once a week once a day you know and it's just like calling up your mom like a lot of these people think they're your friends and yeah. you know you kind of have this really cool relationship with them that Jenna calls it like her internet friends they're her internet friends yeah. and you know you want to check in on your friends and say hi once in a while and that might be once a day once a week mm -hmm. um, and any particular platforms that you definitely know you need to be present on I mean obviously there's the big ones the Facebook the Twitter but is that yeah. pretty much predominantly where the audience is I think Facebook Twitter and YouTube at this time is kind of like the place to be but of course there's always places to sort of continue to I think even just build out your brand or your personality like Pinterest is a really great example Absolutely. of a new sort of developing place where it's a sort of a different experience when you're on Pinterest because it's not just words it's not just video it's more images That's right. so you can kind of get a feeling of who somebody is or what their interests are and it's just a different experience Absolutely. okay so if you can tell me what's next for Jenna anything really fun in the future other than sitting in her bedroom with her webcam as much as everybody loves that is there anything kind of cool in the works happening or um, you know, the really great thing that I love about Jenna is she's very much this person who's like, I'm going to go with the flow and I'm just going to follow my gut and I'm just going to do what feels right. And right now, there isn't like a big, huge project on the table that's like her next big thing. She loves, you know, she loves being where she's at now. She loves her audience and she loves being able to do like things that she would be doing anyway, even if she wasn't like a big YouTuber. Um, and so we're just kind of enjoying the moment and seeing where it takes us. Well, you're doing a great job of winging it. Fantastic, huge fan. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. I really appreciate it. Thank it was you. nice to meet you. you too.